Since 1998, the world's been cooling down. Dr. Ball has dedicated himself to spreading the word that the mainstream science of climate change is a crock. Today, he's come to this hockey rink at Dawson Creek in the Yukon to preach to the choir, the BC Oil and Gas Association. First of all, consensus is not a scientific fact. Back in the 1970s, as I'll tell this audience, the consensus was we were heading for another ice age. Right? That was wrong, too. That's the first thing. It's consensus is not a scientific fact. The second thing like his American counterparts, Dr. Ball rejects the predominant scientific opinion that man-made emissions are causing the Earth's temperature to warm. At the end of this century, temperatures could mirror a time when sea levels were 24 meters higher than they are now. Worst case simulations show Manhattan looking more like Atlantis. That science is based on unprecedented collaboration around the world. 2,000 scientists in 100 countries who produced the report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the largest peer-reviewed scientific study ever. To be honest, I don't know what more it can say than what's already been said. That is, we, we have warming, it's because of, because of humans, and the cause is fossil fuel com combustion. Climatologist Andrew Weaver of the University of Victoria is one of the authors of that definitive international report. He says it's no secret what action is necessary now. We've argued that, in fact, you don't need more science to, to come up to the kind of thing, the first order policy as to what you should do with respect to change, which is li limit greenhouse gases. We know that that needs to be done in order to stop this warming.